Welcome to the first cast of tonight. Um, this one's been sent in by RK4K, otherwise known as RK4000, who's a pain in the ass. Um, I do believe he's the person playing on this map, and it is a nice 6v6. So the map is Desert Oasis. Um, I've played this a few times. Quite a fun map to be playing. Uh, you've got quite a bit of... Um, Trees reclaim and go around in here as well. Um, the bulk of the reclaim though is pretty much just rocks. That's about it in this map. Um, let's have a look. So team two is on the right hand side. We've got Spartan Dog, Spartan Dog five one four, who is Aeon. Then company in we've got Fire Messiah Cybran, and on the bottom of the map we've got Love Machine. So. Let's have a look. So I think it's usual. No, we've got an app. So in red, he is on the bottom left hand corner of the map. Is RK4K. Closely followed with Avanta Grid. Who's Seraphin. And Mr. Death. So we've pretty much got the back, the normal team that's been currently been casting for most of the games. Or for most of the games recently are still playing this game. Clearly, as shown in there. So, let's have a go and see how this map plans out. So basically, as I was saying, there's just a few small reclaim points in this map, but there is a big, massive ocean surrounding it. Um, I'm trying to familiar myself with it. So you've got trees. So you've got some dead trees and you've got some small trees on both sides. Um, pretty much this is a, like a kind of rush map. So as we can see, we've got RK, 4Ks. Nice tutorial bomber. So, for all you guys up there that don't know how to do this, let's just watch how RK, 4K does his epic bombing runs. These are quite well macroed. It doesn't re he doesn't really sacrifice any of his um, units here. Um, he doesn't sacrifice his ego or his build power or anything when he's doing this. So this is quite interesting how he does it because technically he should, being up with this type of mic macro, he should be losing at least something. But he is just send it in a straight line. It, as you can see, he's just moving it so he doesn't so the bomb doesn't climb over the trees. So let's have a look. So we've got a base here. We've got a second day. So we've got two land factories getting put up by Love Machine. We have a bot. So we've got RK 4K bomber. So we do have another interceptor out, as we can clearly see. But obviously, you can see we see RK four K is going in for the kill now. They got bomb dropped one, but he did have an A. a so the machine did have an A out there. But the bomber is gone. So obviously, five minutes. Uh, love machine. And thingy, um, RK 4K saying that the um, that the cast is lagging. Uh, I've got no indication on here about that. As we can see, we've got a little um, Mr. Death's gonna is sending a little Mech Marine army going up. So can't get any closer than that, unfortunately. See, oh look there, they're running. They're getting shot by Auroras. He's running for his life, and he's dead. Unfortunately, he got killed by Spartan Dogs units.
As we can see, so Firemens is really um, going on the air. Aerial offensive there. He's got five interceptors. He's got like six. He's got eight interceptors out, so he's protecting anything against any air attack now. That's a good strategy. Um, it's it's not a bad strategy by the enemy team, but he really needs to be making some of all this air super supremacy at the moment. As we can see, we have Spartan Dog. He's going for a real big spam in the land. He's got five fac. He's got four now. He's going for a fifth, and he's got another four more planned. So he'll have nine at the end of this um, spamming. Um. Well, they'll have 10 now because he's going to do it again. He's also got a T1 radar up, so he can see any incoming that Mr. Def sends him. But obviously, Mr. Def is severely lacking in the land focus build priority because obviously he's going to get really outspammed by Spartan Dog. RK4K doesn't really have anything um, going at the moment in time because, well, this is RK4K. He relies on his bomber tactic to really get him through a game. From what I've seen so far, if his bomber fails, RK4K will die. Um, let's see if this um, goes by the same indication. I've never seen that before. Has anyone... Um, I'm just, could, has anyone seen anything like this before in the, in the, in a, on the map? Because this is quite new to me. I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like it. Does it appear? No, it's not appearing on the other side of the map. So that's quite an interesting um, pho phenomena. phenomenon. Where RKC uses that in a like growing cloud of dust and furball and fluff. Not sure what that is. I'll have to, that'll have to be looked on at the end of the uh, at the end of the game. But as we can see, Love Machine is really going at it with um, Mr. Death. Mr. Death is keeping all of his units the same. Not really equaling or mm, using them to his full advantage. On this map, though. Um, one of the major tactics the UEF have is go quick gun and you'll be killing Auroras like the Mint Mint. It's always the best. It's always, I've always found it to be a very nice tactic versus um, Aeon. As you can see, he's got some units in the background, so he's, got, he's still building engineers. He's not putting them to full use, but he really needs to. Um, as we can see, Lum Machine has actually done what I thought he might do, is build a T1 Naval Frigate. So this is going to be... So this is going to be quite a good fight. Team 2 has got the um, air supremacy, as we can clearly see with the amount of uh, interceptors there. But team... Top of Team 1, um, the top of the map, it's going to be quite interesting because they both have this... We'll both have relatively the same in income. Um, let's have a look. Spartan Dog. Yep. Spartan Dog and Def uh, Mr. Def have, has definitely have the same income. So, this will be an interesting fight between these two. Because normally, this would be quite interesting. Because if you rush good on a, a, um, UEF ACU, use your MA-12 tanks to um, back you up, you are pretty safe. Let's have a look. Miss um, Spartan Dog is definitely going tech upgrade. Let me just confirm that one. Yep. Spartan Dog does seem to be going tech on his ACU. So we'll find out exactly how that plans out. Because it looks like he's going. He's just going to go T two PD creep. Um. Yep, so he's probably going to do T2 PD Cree. As we have a look into what's going on in the sea between Avanta Guard and Love Machine. We've got T1 Frigates um, fighting each other. We've got 
Aurora, we've got um, nice mobile artillery spams as well. So you'd really have the Seraphim really take care of that um, as fast as possible. Because obviously they are the pain in the ass artillery. Um, obviously you've got some more artillery there which is slowly being dealt with by Avanti Guard's ACU. As you can clearly see there. Having some fun there. So the question is how what... So the question is... How, who's going to make the headway here? Because it's pretty much um, looking as a 50-50 game at the moment. Um, with Fire Messiah winning the fight between Avantgarde and... Yeah, between Avantgarde and himself. So he's got more air. He's got more C. Because he's still got the C factory. Um, the question is, now what else has he got? Um, he's pushing in on land with his ACU, clearly. Um, but obviously we've got some... So we've got some early bombers coming in. Um, Love Machine is just um, seems to be reclaiming the um, broken uh, naval factory, and he's successfully done that. So let's have a look elsewhere. Should we go? Let's go at the top. At the top, we've got a nice big fight going on. We've got Mr. Death versus Ali Aeon, MA12 versus Auroras. He's walking into a nice T2, T1 PD. Uh, the problem is, he still doesn't have the gun. Um, so, 10 minutes into the game, fighting her, the Aeon, still doesn't have the gun. So, he's going to get absolutely spattered now by Auroras, which he is, so you can clearly see. His health is going down dramatically. The, suit, the more he moves in... The more he's going to get damaged because here comes the T1 PD. So, obviously, this is a view from the um, air behind Death's ACU. He's in heavy trouble. He's in heavy trouble. He's still moving. Yep, so I was correct. He is going for a T2 PD creep. So, the yeah, MA 12 striker tanks are taking serious damage. He's lost the bulk of his army. Well, he's actually lost all of his army in that, in that particular fight. Um, so, he really needs to sort someone else out now. Well, we do have three RK-12s, uh, Mantises, behind the enemy lines. Doing a good job of um, disrupting the enemy, so to speak. Um, so, at the moment, it looks like quite a decent game going on now. We've got Air and C, Air and C being controlled by Love Machine. Well, we've got the Seeker being controlled by Love Machine, and we've got the Air being controlled by Fire Men Mensa. Um, the problem is now is RK um, really now really needs to start pushing. So RK really needs to start pushing in because his team's starting to get quite battered in all areas. As we can clearly see. Um, Firementor's air superior, superior embassy is literally killing the entire army of Mr. Death. Not a good idea. Although he does have a few T1 mobile air tanks, as you can clearly see. They're still in, they still are in big trouble because they're getting shot down faster than they can be built. Although we do have Antivantagard's um, interceptors incoming um, and sorting a few of them out. There's just way too many of love uh, fire mentors there, so there it needs to be a real um, push from somewhere, because at this moment in time, they're gonna lose, and they're gonna lose badly. As you can see, Vanguard has seen the amount of air that um, fire mentor has, and he's starting to build more air factories. He really should have done this earlier. Um, once you've got air superior MC, you can tech up. Um, pretty fast, as fast as you want, really. Um, so they can't really do anything against it. As we can see, just in the bottom middle of the map, a mobile tactical missile launcher was built, but is under attack. It's definitely under attack by bombers. Um, but the problem is... The problem is, um, because they're under attack by bombers, it's really a pain in the ass. As we can see, Mr. Death is even is more in trouble now. Um, 
he's being harassed even more by Spartan Death, which is doing a PD creep. So... This is quite interesting because we've got T2F. Um, we've got... 1T1F factory. Let's if we look in. Uh, let's go and have a look at Firemen's base. So he's he has got a T2F factory. He's got four. He's got two. He's got three T1 air factories as well. So now this is going to be a real bin. This is so this is a this is going to be bad uh, for everyone because Love Machine is now actually going T2 Naval HQ, which means he's going to be doing cruises. And cruisers right that close to the sea equals you're going to get your ass handed to you by a load of tactical missiles coming in in a matter of seconds. And you won't even know they're happening. As we can see, we got a T T2 PD shooting at the um, MA-12 striker tanks of fire Mr. Death, so he's losing his entire land force, he isn't really coming up with anything that can stop him, so at the overall map control, it is still 50-50, um, with Spartan Dog really starting to push in a bit more on the top, um, RK-45's fighting Lum Machine back just a bit, uh, once it's quite a lot, as we can see we've got the um, Aurora's are now pushing on Mr. Death's base, so he's now lost quite a lot of his units um, to try and defend them off. All he's got to defend them is mongooses, um, which will do the job, but won't do the job for much long. Okay. As we can see, we've got a small T2 transport. He's, it's been hesitant. He wants to make sure that no one can see it, that the path is clear before he goes and assaults it. We're not too sure. I'm not too sure what's in him, but we'll keep an eye on that one. Um, as for the current assault by the on in the UEF, Mr. Death is gone T2. So it is now 15 minutes in. He is T2. So this is not going to look good. So we do have a Vanguard air. Uh, is now starting to push into Fireman's air. Uh, Interceptors because Firemen's interceptors are out of um, fuel, which is a big no no. As we can see, we've got a T2 drop. Um, we've got a mobile stealth, and there are. Oh, we've got Fire Beetles. That's a nice little tactic by RK4, RK4K. He's on purposely ran into the base and s absolutely sabotaged it to hell. That's a fantastic move. That is a brilliant move by RK RK4K. Uh, he hasn't really done anything. So okay, fuck, he hasn't really done much, but he has now because he's got a lot of manuses heading straight towards the base. So now, Mr. Death is in high retreat. He's got a lot of Aeon coming straight through him. Look at the artillery shells of the Aeon units. Mr. Death really needs to get out of there because he's going to get his ACU into real trouble. And he's not going to survive it. At this moment in time, ah, Mr. Death is out of the game. Severely out of the game. His ACU is now down to 15,000 health. So he needs to come up with a tactic that will push the Aeon Aurora's back quite a bit. Because at the moment he's really losing badly. Um, however, the tactic that I said out earlier about build, um, building cruisers in the middle of the match. Middle of the sea. He's done that quite well. So, Mr. Death is in high retreat. He's on 1,000. He's on 2,000 health now. So, unless there's something that his teammates can do to help him save this um, particular endeavour, really, um, he's in really a lot of trouble. So, at the moment, Team 1 now has 60% map control. 
So. Mr. Death is now down to 2000. So he's back on 2000 health. Um, there is quite a lot of Avanti Guards T1A, um, which has also got T2 in it now. So, But Team 1 has actually stopped producing A. Um, let's have a look. Let's see what the reason why. Oh, he's gone, he's gone straight to T3 interceptors. That's why. So he no longer has interceptors because he's mass. He's going to be mass producing T3. So pretty much. So the so Mr. Death's answer to the problem of Aurora's of Spartan Dog coming in is build pillars. There is probably one of the most um, best tactics for a while. So you can see there's an obsidian in high retreat and he's lost his shield. Whoop. And he's also lost the unit, really. Um, we do have six T2 artillery coming into play. And Spartan Dog has pushed right up to the um, UEF base now. So this is becoming quite a problem for Mr. Death. He really needs to sort this problem up. He really needs to sort this area of the map out quickly. Because it really is getting... Battered, so to say. It's getting battered badly. Um, without him doing anything there... Um, he is literally surrounded. The only way he can do something is go around the back... Um, which will be going straight through the middle of Fire Mentor and his T3 Interceptor Army, which is now coming online. Other than that, there is absolutely no way he can get back into this game um, because his ACU is heavily damaged. He is building a fortified defense system right outside of his main base. Um, it is the only way around it, unless he's going to go through T2, point, T2 Artillery um, of Avanta Guards. But I'm pretty sure he can just um, do whatever the hell he wants, really. But at the moment in time, it is 65, 70, it is 65, 20, it is 65, 35 now. Um, purely for the fact is, Spartan Dog has pushed up quite a lot with his T1 army. He has got T2 now, so that's quite good for him. Um, obviously, it'll be uh, helping him quite a lot in this... Um, four moments, but he really should be going T3 now. It is 20 minutes into the game, so this game has dragged on a bit. Um, the T2 factory is under heavy attack by the T2 artillery, so unless something happens there, and there you go, the T2 factory is now down. So, we do have a problem, so... There is a problem. So Firemancer now has Raz. So that'll be in, so that'll be a major boost to his eco. That's pretty much for for him to spam interceptors even faster than he was doing. So the problem is, how is team two? How is team one going to come back? Um, T3 Interceptor's been spammed. Um, let's have a look at Vanguard. Is he going T3? Yes, he is. But he is quite... He is behind the... Um, he is quite behind. Here we are. <laughs> As I said, Spartan Dog cannot go through. Mr. Death's defences, so he's pushing around the side near Avantagard. Avantagard is building T2 point defences, but it will be too late. Before they reach him. Yep, they have reached him, so they will be pushing in. Um, so that's quite a big, so that's quite a problem. The fact is, oh, but he is getting his, he is getting his T2 gunships over to try and cover. Um, although the T2 gunships out of the Seraphine are quite good, um, the fact is that the T3 interceptors by Fire Mentor would put them to bed quite quickly. Um, but they they don't seem to be even bothering really. As you can see, them dying quite quick. As you can see, the assault is dying quite quickly because Mr. Death has brought his units over. 
they'll cover him as well. So, this is pretty much a standstill. Um, nothing really happening. So, if I go to plus two it at the moment, first time I've done this for a while because it's pretty much 50-50. But here we go. The T3 um, interceptors are now coming into play. But RK4K is going to go for the winner. He is going for the T3 Spider. The T4 Spider, my my bad. Um, he does have the eco for it. But he is upgrading even more. <laughs> Mr. Death is suffering quite badly with his eco. He is going T3 on his ACU. So he is going to get the T3 arm. We do have a T3 gunship coming up into play. By... Fire Mensa, which you can clearly see. And he's off skis, because he's just found someone to go and kill. Yeah, it's a T1 Interceptors of Avanta Guard. So, he went to go and play it for some fun. So, at the moment, it's good 50-50. You've got the T1 Frigates of um, Love Machine slowly pushing in where the um, T2 Artillery was. But, as you can see, the T2 Artillery are now firing... Um, so, but they are getting a, they are getting assaulted by the hover tanks, as well as the T2 point defences. So the T1 has to really do something before they start dying badly. Um, he is he has built another thing. He has built another T2 nail factory closer to his base, so that will help him out quite a lot now. Um, the problem that we're seeing is Mr. Death is now going to be under heavy attack from Spartan Dog. In by in they go one by one by one. They are going into death. Huzzah! Huzzah! It's a 300 Spartans versus stupid idiots. So if we look at this attack, so we've got the UEF holding holding firm. The Aeon in the endless numbers are still are just going to try and push through. They're going to use all. They're going to use a number advantage. They're going to use it to the best advantage. As you can clearly see. The UEF have actually built the, um, he has actually finished his arm for T3, so he is now going T3 Ravenger. Um, at the moment, his shield has failed, but the Aeon are still coming. Um, they haven't finished the assault, but the shield is now down, so Mr. Death is exposed from the air. And the five gunships... That Fire Mensa has will do the job. But that Ravenger is coming online quite quickly for Mr. Death. So that's good for him. So that's a look that's something to look out for. He can now do a T3 PD creep. Which will beat the T2 PD creep that Aeon have actually did. And he can actually push him back as well. But the question is will he? But here we go. We've got the um five gunships coming in. Which we have got T3 air. From Avantgarde, so that's another bonus. So let's have a look as we see um, tactical missiles get killed by RK 4K um, from the cruiser that's on the um, seaside. Obviously, the problem that the um, Team one are having is the uh, the being out tacticked in the whole game really. Um, apart from that one brilliance by RK 4K to send a um, transport with a stealth of fire beetles and completely annihilate Love Machine's eco, but he did he should he didn't do it quite so well because he should have done all of them. If he did every single mass extract that he had. It would that would be a quite epic um, that would be quite good kill. Um, as we clearly see it's a 50-50 fight now. With Mr. Death now actually pushing back the Aeon forces. Mr. Death is just got one T3 mass T3 mass extractor, so he is um, behind on his eco just a bit. Um, but at the moment, it looks like decent game. 
they... Oh, it's, it's, it's not easy to decide who's going to win this. Um, yeah, because... It's really difficult to see... There need to be some kind of um, very, very a lot of brilliance in this. So Spartan Dog just pointing out that um, RK4K does have a monkey now. Um, so Team 2 are going to try and kill that as fast as possible. Um, it has to be on the priority to do because it's going to absolutely laser through their base faster than faster than normal. So it's going to be quite an interesting game. Um, he could go straight for the T2 Naval Factory, get vetted, or he can just go for all this and still get vetted. He is building T2 shields um, and PD um, love machine, but it won't be enough to stop. It will definitely not be enough to stop. The spider. As you can see, the spider is, lock, is locked on to the engineers. And is now on his way to kill him. As you can clearly see. Avanticard is, trying to pr is pr providing some air support. For the T3 gunships. But there is T3 bombers incoming. So... Maybe the spider does need to get some type of um, fortified veterancy in place at the moment. He is getting assaulted by T1 T1 PD. Um, but he is on. He has got he left 18, 1800 health. He is um, on a couple of star veterancy. So if you have a look at what Arke is doing, he is on one star veterancy already. He knows exactly what he's doing. Avanti Guard has got scouts going. Um, he is using um, the spider to kill the T2 naval factory. So the spider is doing just enough to survive at the moment in time. But he does have um, Flak behind him. Flak really should be in front of him. But obviously not really matter. Vanagard is trying to produce as much air. Um, to try and cover him as possible. And so RK4K is actually got a T3 air factory online as well. If we have a look at just going over and off, we do have Mr. Death is under heavy tactical missile attack. If there was just one more built, Mr. Death would have died. He is now in high retreat. But he did build two T3 point defense, so they are starting to push the arm back. As we have a look at the, um, unit, the spider... The spider is remaining relatively untouched. So the problem that the enemy are having now is... We've got the EXP, what are you going to do about it? They're, they're trying to throw everything they have at it. Um, Avanticard's air spam is just literally coming... It's literally coming in enough time to cover the spider advance. Um, yeah, it's just covering the advance. He's, he has got flak coming in. He has got mobile missile lot. He has got hover tanks there. Um, but pretty much... He's doing exactly what the spider wants him to do. The spider's just biding his time. Waiting for reinforcements to come. Which they are coming. Um, and they are quickly taking care of any air that is being produced by... Firemancer and Love Machine. So they are pretty much in a state of um, shock and attack. We do have a nice Spartan fortification here. If you, if you see it there. That's 71 PD arm walled with T3 artillery firing. He has got more T3 artillery coming into play. So, there's going to be another quick reaction. Well, here we go. Don't 
There is quite a lot of T2PD being built by Love Machine here. So the question is, will all that T3PD be able to kill a spider? I mean the T2PD. Or will a T3 bomber bite? RK4K do the damage that is needed to be done. And the bomb is dropped. Let's have a look at where it's going. Directly on the T3 air factory. And he's killed a large percent of the engineers assisting the T3 air factory. So that's pretty much job done there. So that's a good game. So RK4K is being relatively quiet. As we can see, the spider is slowly making its way around. Obviously, he doesn't want to alert the T2PD exactly where he is. But there he is. There, you can see where he is. So that just took a good 6,000 health off his spider. All them hitting it. That's the. That's bad. That is quite bad. For a spider. 6,000 in one. And just in one attack. Mr. Death is having trouble trying to um, stop the T3 um, artillery from firing at his base. But there is quite a lot of it, so that's going to really cause him some trouble. Okay, Spider has now got 95 kills. Make that 90. Yeah, 95 kills. And he's on 18,000 health, so that's slowly creeping back up again. So with this game pretty much done and dusted, um, Fireman has actually gave his units to... Spartan Dog, um, because Spartan Dog does have six abs, and he has more on the way to try and kill the spider. Obviously, the T2PD should really be focusing on the spider. There it is now. The spider will be going down. The spider is gone down. 116 kills, 117. The spider is dead. Wasn't his best move. It could have been better if he moved from behind and killed all the T1 artillery, but hey ho. So that's quite a nice mass boost for Team 2 now. So the question is how are they going to win this? Um, they don't really have any decent units um, to win this, really, if you look at the. Um... But Vanagate is building T3 bombers, so if Vanagate does get a clean. Shot um, on Spartan Dog. That would be pretty much a good game um, since Firemancer has actually given up. So, Spartan Dog is now actually just building our mobile artillery, but he has got three shields around him. He has got some PD T3 um, flak, but he hasn't got any T3 air defense. He, only, he has only got T2, he's got about four flak there. And that's what Avantgarde's going to do right now. He's going straight for Spartan Dog's ACU. If only it's for free shields, um, he will lose that. And the sheer, and the sheer impact of the bombers that are coming at him right now. Will give the UEF attack just that bit of um, advantage at the moment. What? But it doesn't need any advantage because the bombers are coming back. And with the shields only 60% regenerated, Spartan Dog is goes down. So it's a good game. Um, Spartan Dog is now gone. Obviously, if you have a look in the right-hand corner, I'm trying to get the best um, view for you. There you go. If you look in the right-hand corner of the map, you see firemen just causing trouble. With Spartan Air. So with Spartan's entire base now destroyed. Love Machine's the only person left. And everyone knows where Love Machine is. In the middle of the map. But he does have an experiment on the Orphep. Which has just done fuck all because it's now dead. No, no, not yet. 
Oh, wait there. Oh, no, it will be dead now. <coughs> so the other dead of the firemen, sir. Little Machine is now trying to build T3 air, P air defense. And Firementer is now doing some kind of Mesa upgrade by the looks of it. No, not Mesa. Um, stealth. Yep, so he's going stealth. So Firementer is going stealth. Um, Little Machine is building T3 A in the middle of the game. So this is pretty much game over. Oh no, he went for torpedoes. So Firementer is just pushing through with torpedoes. So as you can see, the T3 um, destroyer is getting absolutely battered by the torpedoes of Firementor's ACU. So Firementor is now under heavy heavy bombardment by torpedo dis torpedo lot destroyers. And he's trying to take out the guard's ACU, but he's not going to survive that. Pretty much good game. So as soon as the spider went up, they didn't really do anything to kill it straight away, which is quite a bad thing. Um, so, yep, good game. So, the next target should be... Love Machine. And there they are. And RK4K has gave me an incomplete replay because he's a fucking plonker. Dumbass RK4K. Meant to be a fucking pro. He can't even send me a fucking replay correctly. I'll be doing another live cast in about 15 minutes where I get another can and open it and drink. So stay tuned and you'll see me soon.